it's 11 p.m. and I just woke up. Uh, I slept at 3 last night, I think. Uh, there's not much that I'm gonna do today. Just a lot of chores. You guys can see at the back. Those are all of my laundry, some errands, some cleaning. I always feel shitty bila I bangun lambat. I feel like if I bangun lambat, I'm just not motivated to do anything anymore for the rest of the day. My call time for waking up is usually 9 a.m. Because that's when I feel the most productive. If I wake up later than at least 10 a.m., that I'm gonna feel so shitty. Last week, I kind of took a break. I didn't do much actually. I just basically gave myself a hat. Like, I was just not doing anything. I have this thing where my child, I crave for rest. And then when I finally get to rest, I feel bored and I feel shitty because I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm wasting time resting. I feel like I should be feeling this free time with other things. And I feel like I should be making something or creating something. Some videos. So I could have created a lot more things rather than, you know, just resting. So the first thing that I do, the moment I wake up, is I would turn on my diffuser because I suka bila my house smells very nice and very much refreshing it just gets me in the mood to do something and also I will go straight into cleaning like every single day like I remember macam tu I memang like bila I bangun I akan terus kemas rumah kalau I nampak sepah especially the dining table punya area uh, I just cannot stand it kalau ada barang yang Tak patut ada atas tu. Ada atas tu. Faham tak? So, yeah. Put all of my essential oils kat dalam ni. I usually go for um, lemon tambah frankincense. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this combination is so wangy. Abstractions how I live my day to day Sketchy lines upon an empty page Hard to explain and to express Forever just a work in progress Feeling happy, feeling sad Always ask me what skincare do I use. Currently, I'm using Cetaphil. It's the bright, healthy radiance. I suka gila because it makes my skin so glowy. I do see a difference in my skin after gula. My skin nampak macam lagi like bright and apa glowy. Skincare simple je because I have sensitive skin, so. Um, I cannot use a lot of products on my face sebab nanti my skin akan freak out and dia akan break out. So I have to be careful with what I put on my face. I've never really been the type untuk pakai perfume. I don't know, it's just like 
I didn't know that it was a thing to wear perfumes until someone asked me what's my top three favorite perfume. Um, I do get PR for perfume. I just pakai the ones that I receive. I've never really bought one myself. My dad selalu beli I perfume and I pakai macam benda sama je. Like before this, I was using lupa nama dia. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anna Sui, Anna Sui, the mermaid one. My dad yang belikan untuk I. And previously, when my dad yang belikan, and I never knew like the distinction between the smells. I just wear whatever that I have. Recently, I've dapat Ferragamo. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna wear the ones that I don't buy. I don't really buy perfume. They also gave me like a booster where you might try and create your own scents. Color you mix everything. So. The reason why I keep wearing it is because I not pretty swap this. Not like I have any symptoms or anything, but because I have a shoot tomorrow and they require everyone to get tested before we actually come to the shoot, just for safety purposes. And also I have to run some errands. Uh, I gotta get some fresh milk. I don't know why, but I feel like my like fridge is not complete if I don't have fresh milk. Like I need fresh milk at all times because I eat uh, cereals all the time. <laughs> That was very cepat, so now we're gonna go to the grocery store. Satay satu dengan uh, whipped cream. Rasa I nak yang set yang dengan dua donuts tu. Oreo Boston cream. I just thought that ice latte would be good right now. But I tak nak beli Starbucks because Starbucks mahal sangat. Like if I were to go to Starbucks, I can beli Asian Dolce Latte. Asian Dolce Latte tambah caramel upside down tambah whipped cream. Oh my god, supposed to like mampus. But you know, I'm trying to save right now, so I believe I started that kind of night. Dengan dua donat, satu set, it's only 12 bucks. Okay, compact dengan Starbucks. Dapat satu air je, it's like 17 bucks. So, spend wisely, people. Okay, thank you. Eh, lupa nak minta sugar. <coughs> Every time I go to Dunkin' Donut, stuff like this happens tau. Like, hari tu, I datang, tak ada kopi. And then the second one I datang, I lupa lah apa, tapi something bad happens. And then the third one yang datang, I lupa nak minta sugar. <laughs> what? I gula sekarang. Because I can't have coffee without sugar. Like, I just have to have sugar. You know? I'm a, and I'm probably gonna make some um, burger hari ni. I have burger patty. Kena satu je lagi. And I just nak habiskan. So I'm not gonna order any takeouts today. Just so that I can finish whatever that's left in my fridge and make whatever that I have in my fridge right now. <laughs> Donuts. Okay. I bought donuts. We always believe the Oreo punya. Mm.
Okay, so right now, I have to get ready for my shoot tomorrow. They are not about much of like interview punya style. They're gonna ask me questions like, when I was in uni, how did I balance working and studying at the same time? Like whether I faced any criticisms. Um, I don't know why. I feel like it's kind of embarrassing to talk about it. Not like embarrassing. It's like, I don't really talk about my difficulties. Difficulties in public because honestly it's a privilege to be doing what I do now so I don't really like to talk about my difficulties but I did show you guys like the behind the scenes of uh, my work I didn't want to much, um, showcase how difficult it is being content creator because honestly I really love my job actually and I don't want to complain ever because I genuinely enjoy creating videos and also content I just feel much like, um, if I ever if I were to ever complain about this job it makes me feel like I'm not grateful for it which I am like all the time I am super grateful that I get to do what I love and honestly I didn't go through any difficulties when it comes to criticisms or like, comments made by people not really much like, all of my peers my batchmates they were like they were like don't take something and I if they say anything bad about it point I I tak pernah tahu I'm actually gonna go out to buy mineral water and coffee for tomorrow. Cannot function at shoots without coffee. Like I will be so cranky and I will be so tired and everyone's gonna hate me. Sometimes my shoot pagi and I um, really don't have the mood to like panas sky and like you know do everything else so this is great. This one I just bought so about how you can try for my own eye and it was good so Now I gather fat with the tomorrow show is almost ten. I thought about this bag is which a bizarre and I literally just fit everything in here. <gasps> I've been looking for this. It's about it's why they shoot. Tastes fine. I don't know what I'm tasting. I said tasting just milk. Maybe I should put less milk and more ice cream, more mangoes. But this is fine. Mm -hmm. 